up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? We back again, continuing with some more Nintendo Switch Bear Collection, baby. Real raw and uncut. And I'm going to show you guys again and again and again. You see that right there all glowing in red right there? You see all the Nintendo Switch games? Oh, my gosh, y'all. You see all that? Yeah, y'all. You got to be known. You got to be known. You got to let it known there's games out here for the Nintendo Switch, baby. Let's get these numbers up. Because I'm telling you guys, I'm coming back with a vengeance with these videos for you guys. But yeah, y'all, so uh, this fell out of nowhere. And I literally forgot that I bought this shit. I literally forgot. And I was supposed to bend and play this game. And I'm like, oh my gosh, because it was, it was, it fell behind the cabinet. And I was cleaning up yesterday and I looked and I said, there it go. No wonder why I never got to do my unboxing of it. Because I forgot I bought the damn thing. So, boom. Right there. Rune Factory 5. And I was, you know what? I was just kind of contemplating like, damn, do I have this game? And if I didn't even notice, I would have ordered me two copies of the damn game right there. But, yeah. So, you see this big, big box right there? This right here is the big day one collector's edition. It comes with a uh, soundtrack, a steel book case right there, and um, you know, um, a big ass what a, a book with uh, pictures and everything into it. We already know that Marvelous Games always, always does it big, big, real raw, nut cut when they you know do their first you know edition games out there, y'all. So yeah, y'all, how's everybody out there doing? Real raw, nut cut. Go to the Straight Up Food Reviews channel because I'm doing food reviews on there. I'm bringing it back. Gotta get back to working out because I don't want to get chunky eating that shit. But yeah, we ain't talking about that. So yeah, we got Ava, uh, Lanceville, Archville, right there. This is a game from right there, Super Rare Games. Get it right, real raw and cut, Super Rare Games. They release okay games. There's a lot of them that I skipped out on because they looked it kind of whack. But when they come across good games that are very, very looking uh, playable and, and something that you need to snatch up, you need to snatch it up because most of the time they only get like 3,000 copies of this game, uh, you know, of these type of games. And this is one of them. And I said, okay, I got to play that. I got to play that. A rogue type shooter game. I think it is because it's got a bunch of blazing guns, blazing weapons, blazing enemies, and it looked pretty, pretty good. So I had to go get it right. So if you guys got this in your collection, A1 to you real raw and nut cut, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay, so we're going to throw in the triple whammy for you guys. We're going to throw a, a quadruple whammy real raw and nut cut with this video. As you guys already know, I got the Dark Stalkers real raw and nut cut right there. Yes, yes. Did I say Dark, dark Stalkers? Dark Siders. I said Dark Stalkers. Ah, slap me in my motherfucking face, y'all. But yeah, got the Dark Stalkers one. Why I keep saying Dark Stalkers? Dark Siders, my damn it, right there. And I got Dark Siders Genesis. I have not played this one yet. Slap me in my face, yeah. But I want to play it though. This is like more like the spinoff of the, you know, Lost Brother. You know what I'm saying? The the one that just caused all the trouble. You know, the nerd one. You know, we're on the cut. But uh, play this one, beat this one, real raw and uncut. But this one right here is the biggest one of all time. This right here is when they went a different direction and made it massively huge. And it was actually pretty, pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It was actually better than part one, real raw and uncut. Then we got the evil sister right there in Dark Siders 3 right here, real raw and uncut. I really wasn't feeling this game. I don't know what it was. It was something about this game. It was all over the place. It was just... The way it played, it was just weird. And um, they never released any DLCs for it because they was, they was actually going to release DLCs, but they, they never got around to it. And because I seen it, well, you know, in the menu boards and I, and I just never really, I just like got sidetracked with it. But hey, but the good side about it though, I got them all in my collection right there. Real Raw Nut Cut looking very, very clean. I also have them for uh, PS3, PS4 remastered. You guys know how they do it, y'all. Right that right, y'all. Having a good day. Having a good day. Triangle Strategy. Woo! Really, really cool game. Mind-boggling, you know, in your brain. Real on Uncut. Can get, you know, you know, fatigued playing this game. Lost and exhausted. Real on Uncut. Um, you know, trying to, you know, strategize and, and learn how to do different things, which I'm trying to do. Real on Uncut. 
but it is what it is. Um, it is beautiful. It's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Because these guys are the you know same people that made uh, I think Octopath and um, uh, Beverly by default and stuff like that. But yeah, can get a little overwhelming and and and, and sometimes intimidating because it intimidates me. But but yeah. So speaking of um, novel type of game, this is my second one, and it's like a girly game. I like you know what? I don't have shit to buy. Let me try this. Doki Doki right there. Don't th ain't Doki Doki like a um, snack box or somewhere in Japan or something like that? You guys let me know. So this is supposed to be like a horror story. And I'm looking on the back. I said, okay, these, these anime chicks right there got a little horror story going on. It's a psychological horror. That's what it is. Doki Doki. And it got it has some cool stuff up in here. It has a cool little you know card right there which you get. Real and uncut. Um, it has. I can't show you my download soundtrack code, so I don't want to show you guys that because I haven't used it. Some cool little stickers right there. The Doki Doki Chicks right there. Real raw and uncut. Then you get a, um, let me see, let me see, a lecture club member card right there. Looking very, very nice. Real raw and uncut. Aw, look at Sanchez on the back. <laughs> That's my bro right there. So, yeah, so, uh. And, and also, we got some uh, little, you know, cardboard, you know, stand-up props of the, you know, chicks right there. We're on Uncut, as you guys can see. Yeah, y'all looking very, very nice. But uh, this is a pretty, pretty little fun game. I played it for about a good, you know, uh, two hours. And like I said, I get sidetracked. But, hey, what counts, though, is I go back and play these games. I go back. I go back. We're on Uncut. Then we got Monster Hunter Rise. I'm not really a Monster Hunter fan. So, um, this right here is the Monster Hunter that I really was learning to actually understand Monster Hunter and getting actually into it and learning the, the, the ropes of how to play. And I said, okay, that's how you play the shit. And that's why I, you know, I had to go back and go buy the other Monster Hunter that got released for Nintendo Switch. Speaking of that, they ain't talked about that in a long time. What's going on, y'all? So yeah, so uh, yeah, I hope a lot of you guys are having a great time, you know, watching this, um, you know, um, Nintendo gaming collections right here. Okay, we got Chris Styles. Have I played this game? I don't think I played this. Nope. Nope. Because I I did a, I opened it when I was at work. And I was about to play it. And I just, you know, forgot about I had it. But I'm going to set it to the side and play it. And I know that I'm, you know what? I'm probably missing out on a lot of great games that I need to be playing right about now. Because, like I said, uh, it's that Call of Duty that be, you know, getting me like, you know, a, a drug fiend. But it's all good, though. Because it ain't going nowhere. Okay, we got Final Fantasy on the cut. We got Final Fantasy right there. The old school, old school, old school. Real raw and uncut. This is Final Fantasy 9. And um now when I was um you know young, I didn't realize I was trying to get it through my head like um why did they make Final Fantasy 9 like this? And Final Fantasy 7, you know, was the way it was made, then they came out with Final Fantasy VIII, which was okay. Then they went back to this and made it like, you know, back to the old school ways. And I really wasn't feeling this type of Final Fantasy back in the day. But I was like, you know what? This needs to be in my collection. I'm pretty sure I'm going to like it now. Because back then I was young, dumb, and stupid. Real raw and uncut, y'all. You guys are going to say. So I'm going to show you guys right there. And we have Persona Strikers right there. And I know a lot of you guys is waiting for that Persona game to drop. Real raw and uncut. Persona 5 for the Nintendo Switch and also coming out for the next gen consoles. Because I know I am. And I know you guys is ready to play that game. Real raw and uncut. And like I said, y'all, thank you for checking out my video game collection. And you guys keep on getting these numbers up for your boy. And I keep bringing them to you guys. Heck yeah.